I'm going to teach you step by step how to do the Into the Unknown dance. And just think about it, you could you do it in this amount of space because we are going to have our entire performance company do this as our big opening dance number, okay? So you won't need a lot of space and you could do this in your very own house. You know probably the first minute and a half of it from classes that we did already. I'm going to go through that and then continue. So we have our chorus is into the unknown with our right hand up. And we just kind of have our hands like this, like we're hand shaking, but up in, that, up in the air. And we put the hand down on the words into the. So the first one is, and we put them up on the word known. Into the unknown, into the un. And, we, and then we do our left hand. And then we do two hands. And on the very first one, we're gonna take those hands and turn them so they're palms to the audience and bring them down strong. Awesome. The very first um verse we are going to lunge out i can hear you and then step back so we put a hand to the audience but i won't and then we slide some look for trouble step back again and we talk to the hand on the other side and we'll make sure we take a step back while others don't and with this one we're going to do a jazz square and start on the word there's a thousand step step i can go about my day so there's a thousand step, step back, then go about my day. Go about my day is a lot slower than that jazz square. Good job. So, so far we have into the unknown, come back down, into the unknown, come back down, two arms up, face the audience, bring them down strong. We're going to lunge, I can hear you, but I won't. Some look for trouble while others don't. Oh my goodness. I flipped it. All right, I can hear you, but I won't. Well, others don't. I'm gonna jazz square this way, guys, okay? You do it the right way. There's a thousand reasons I could go about my day. Perfect, I'm just mirroring because I'm not teaching without a mirror. I could go about my day and ignore your whispers that I wish would go away. Put them away. Put your hands away on the word away. Put your shoulders away on that first O. And then big pause, and then your head moves on the second O. Okay, and ignore your whispers that I wish would go away. Oh, whoa. And both times we are gonna head roll to the right. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to do the second verse. Can you read me the lyrics for the second verse real quick? This is a fun video, guys. You get to be like live with me. You're not a voice. I remember it. You are not a voice. We're gonna lunge back. So maybe come a little bit more forward and more forward so you can hear me. We're gonna lunge back. And just a ringing in my ear is two head bumps. And then we are going to make sure that we turn around to stage right, okay? And then we complete the turn just by using our head. We go back. Take two steps and then turn that way that your head just went, okay? So if you can do it, I'm watching my back. So pretend to mirror me with the lunge. You're not a voice. You're just a ringing in my ear. And if I've heard you, which I don't, I'm spoken for, I fear. That's if you're watching my back. Now we're gonna do it so you're watching my front. You're not a voice. You're just a ringing in my ear, and if I heard you, which I don't, I am spoken for, I fear. Good. So every time I'm facing forward, just mirror my movement. Was that good so far, guys? For everyone I've ever loved, we go arms all the way up. Everyone I've ever, on the word loved, we come down with two fists, fists and we're gonna switch the lines that we're in at that point. So we can't do that one by ourselves. So everyone I've ever loved, just walk forward or back, okay? is here within these walls. For I'm sorry, Secret Siren, I love this part so, so much. We're gonna put our right arm out, then left up diagonal, then right diagonal, then left side, then right down, then left down. This is a good challenge, guys. If you say right arm, but really you're using your left arm, I recommend it. It's good for your brain while you're not at school. And whenever we put these two arms down, we're gonna put our head down so we can put our head up at that same time for dramatic effect. 
So we have everyone I've ever loved is here within these walls. I'm sorry, secret side of thought. I'm blocking out your calls. So on the word blocking, your head goes down and on calls, our head goes up. I've had my adventure. We're going to take a walk around ourselves. Left foot first. We're going to walk to the left. Okay? So I have had my adventure and slice and stamp. I don't need something new. Awesome. On I'm afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you. Those are our two key words. We're going to slide either to the right or left depending on if you're in the front row. So right now you just pick one. It's going to be perfect. I'm afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you. Now is a really good time, especially if you do it in front of maybe your bathroom mirror, you can only see here up, or you can do it in front of the phone. And you can make sure that your arms are in a really straight diagonal, okay? You could just really be precise. Or this is kind of cool, because I'm see my window, and I'm like slicing my window totally diagonally in half. If I was making a mistake, ooh, like that, I can fix it really nicely just by watching myself. So this is kind of a really fun time to do it over and over again by yourself and make sure that you have good form and you have nice posture while you're doing it. So let's talk about, we walked around in a circle and we sliced. I'm afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you. And then we do our chorus again. Into the unknown, arm goes up. This time we bring a fist. Good, into the unknown and bring it down and then two arms and two fists and we do two pivot turns right foot goes forward pivot step together then we pivot the other way with our left foot forward same foot both times so right right and left left awesome so far that should be what you guys know already perfect we are doing good okay now comes for the third verse that we haven't done so far. So, we are going to go again to stage right. What do you want? Because you've been keeping me awake. And we're going to slide to the other side. Are you here to distract me so I make a big mistake? Okay, so it's pretty easy. We've done these moves before, just in different order. And slide. So I make a big mistake. Now we're going to take, we're going to walk ourselves in a circle. Or are you someone out there who's a little bit like me? Okay, and just really reach and use that performance company acting that we can use. And on the words deep down, we're going to go down low. Deep down. Then, since there's so many people on stage, one at a time, we come up and we reach. And this is our move. We have one hand behind our back, so you can see, one hand up. This is really cool, because if you look at the Broadway Kids logo, it's kind of like we're doing that. It's so cool. So arm goes all the way up. Who knows deep down I'm not where I'm meant to be. Or it may, might, maybe you're coming up on the word meant. Or maybe you're coming up on the word no or be. We're gonna sing that once we all get together again. Okay, so third verse. Walk around in a circle, go down, and come up. And I would like everyone's right arm to go up. So I think right now I was looking differently. Mm -hmm. So make sure you have your right arm up. Perfect. Good job. Okay. From this one, we're going to do our slides again. Two slides. Okay. So feel my power grow. Don't you know there's part of me that longs to go? And this time when we do our Into That Unknown, First time we did it, we just did it normal. Second time we did it and we added a fist. Remember that when we're bringing that fist down, pretend you're bringing some muscle down with it too. This time we're also going to lean and make sure that our foot is beautifully tall, dude. Look how beautiful it looks back there, okay? And then we bring the fist, flip this out. We're just getting more and more powerful because we really want to know what's in the unknown. And we're gonna go into it. Okay, guys, the corny jokes still get you still get them. Okay, so into the unknown, bring it down, into the unknown, bring it down, and two arms down, and two fists, and then we're going to still do a pivot. Now we get to do the same thing we did for I'm sorry, secret side, but I'm blocking out your calls, but we're just doing it a little bit slower. So the words for that are... Are you out there? Do you know me? Can you feel me? Can you show me? Those are the words. So we go, 
Are you out there? Do you know me? Can you feel me? Can you show me? You have plenty of time to make sure you're looking down. And it's really epic when all of us are putting our arms up at the same time. This is, again, a great thing to work on while you have time. Look at my awesome fingers. I always say none of my fingers are friends because they are stretching as far apart from each other as they possibly can. And we have this nice little V, okay? We're really strong. I'm not going, yay, this is fun. No, we are the most powerful arms that we can ever be. So perfect. Are you out there? Do you know me? Can you feel me? Can you show me? Oh, that was so good. Okay, on these ahs, we are going to go stage right to stage left, stage left to stage right, back and forth and back and forth while going wee. All of us are gonna lean up to down, all of up to down. Cool? And then over on the side, we're gonna have some little solos. So maybe some one person will do a jump or a leap in the background. And it's gonna look really cool. But for right now, we're just gonna practice this. Oh. Perfect. And let's only practice singing the very first oh, except of course as an octave higher. Um, and then we're gonna leave the other ones for solos. Okay? So it's a great thing to remember to only sing when you're supposed to be singing so we don't. Get so used to it that the day of the show, we're singing over someone solo. So only sing those first, don't sing the echo, okay? Um, the last, where are you going? Don't leave me alone. That's, we're gonna do the beginning. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. How do I follow you? Instead of more talking to the hand like we did at the beginning, we're gonna do a reach, okay? So maybe you can put, two fingers out, one finger out, or um, put your palm up, however you personally would reach, because I wanna see the emotion during this. I wanna see uh, 30 kids going, oh, I love performing. It's gonna be the best. Okay, so where are you going? Don't leave me alone. How do I follow you? We'll do one more pivot into the unknown. Okay, other than a pivot, I would like to be able to do one spin like that okay if you can't do a spin you can do a pivot okay so from here we already have our right foot out okay we're going to pivot onto that perfect okay or from here we're just going to balance so we're going to go this direction perfect okay if you can do that which i'm sure all of you can go ahead and practice that maybe you could even do it twice in a row and then two arms and we're just gonna hold them there. Into the unknown is gonna be such a fun dance. Please practice with the dance of me doing it. And we have the track for you to go out. Remember that it's Into the Unknown Panic at the Disco, the one from the credits of Frozen 2. It's a very, very different rhythm and timing for the one that Adina Menzel sings. So please practice with that one. We'll send you the track. And then you have the video of me doing performance. I'm mirroring you, so you can just do the exact same thing. Thank you guys so much for coming to a virtual YouTube class, and we'll see you more on virtual Zoom classes.